Hi and welcome to my maths class. In our previous videos, we had discussed geometric series. If you remember, we discussed where you would first do the test. You fill in the information. Usually you'd have three out of four and then you substitute into the correct equation and you solve. But what happens with series and sequences is that sometimes the number patterns become more complicated and the questions are not as easy as simply substituting three out of four. Let's take the following question. Calculate the sum of the following series. So we've got the word sum. 5 plus 10 plus 20 dot 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 plus 655 360. 655,300 and 60. Now, when we work with SM, the first thing that clicks in our head is that, okay, they're working with sum, so I want SN. But look at the information. We have that A is 5. We have, if you do your test, you can see that R is 2. But we don't have N or SN which means that we don't have enough information to continue. But this plus 655,360 is the last term. So when we are working with the last term, we have a TN, N-A-R. Now we have A, which is 5. We have R, that is 2. And then we have TN. So once we substitute and we see that we have enough information on the one, we can use that formula to solve. So we're no longer going to start with the SN. We're going to first work with the TN. Once we substitute, we do the correct formula. I'm substituting my a as 5, my r is 2 to the power of n minus 1 is equal to 655,360. Divide by 5 because what I'm doing now is I'm trying to get my n alone. So we have 2 to the power of n minus 1 is equal to 1. So we have 2 to the power of n minus 1 is equal to 131,000. And 72. Now from here we would use our logs to determine how to solve for n. You remember in our previous video we have discussed this where you would put a log on both sides. You'd bring the power in front so n minus 1 into log 2 is equal to log 131,072. Now we're going to divide by log 2 Remember, you use this log method in financial maths and you're going to use it in sequence and series. So it's important that you do understand this specific concept of logs. So we have n minus 1 is equal to 17. So n is equal to 18. Now we can go back. And we can say, okay, we know that there are 18 terms. After that, we can use the SN formula. We are still doing geometric, so we keep to the geometric formula. Now remember, if you don't know your formulas, they are on your formula sheet. Learn from the beginning where they are on the formula sheet. So in the exams, you can refer to them as quick as possible. Substitute what we have. We don't have SN, but we have A is 5, 1 minus R is 2 to the power of 18 all over 1 minus 2. Using your calculator, you'd have had that SN is equal to 1,310,715. Read correctly. Because that is the biggest problem we find in sequence and series. Thank you 
for watching.